Hey everyone, my name is Isabel, my pronouns are she, her, and I am a 17-year-old writer and activist from Taipei, Taiwan. I am a passionate advocate for gender equity with a focus on bridging the gender gap in STEM and advocating for sexual and reproductive health, rights, and justice. Currently, I serve as a Girl Up Teen Advisor, where I am one of 25 female activists ages 13 to 17 working to advance girls' and women's rights around the world. I am also a COVID Classy Community Ambassador, where I help support our community of over 8,000 alumni so that they can feel encouraged to continue pursuing their passions for tech and STEM. As a Taiwanese American, I find it important to connect to my roots and mobilize my local community as well. Some of the things I've done include advocating for youth involvement in urban planning, organizing a closed drive for reproductive rights, and sharing my story as I am now. Being someone who loves consuming media and reading books and going on socials, I've learned about a variety of youth activists doing amazing work in their respective fields, and it's really inspired and pushed me to advocate for issues I care about. Building on my answer from last week, some of the amazing youth activists that I look up to include Greta Thunberg for her work regarding climate change, Olivia Giuliano for her work regarding reproductive rights, and organization Gen Z for Change, which is really unique in the sense that they leverage technology and social media and the power of youth mobilization to get things done. In addition, all the activists that I've had the chance to work with, whether through Girl Up, COVID Classy, or local grassroots movements in Taiwan have also really pushed and inspired me as well. I know that without all the people that I've met and without our constant and mutual support and admiration for each other, I wouldn't be able to be the person that I am today. I think especially in activism, it is really important for you to have a strong support system who can lift you up and give you valid criticism and just support you throughout your journey and I think that ties into a piece of advice that I would give to young girls wishing to go into activism, which is to find your people. This can be done in multiple ways. For me, I started through really small steps and really small organizations, for example, working through groups at my school and then expanding. So maybe it's outside of my school, but then still within Taiwan and then expanding again. So now maybe I'm looking towards people who are from different places around the world and internationally. So really, it doesn't really matter where you exactly look, but as long as you do have the intent of wanting to find people who are similar to you, you're going to find them. Another important piece of advice I would give, especially regarding activism, is to stop waiting for perfection. And what I mean by this is that a lot of times as individuals, we feel like there has to be like a perfect place or a perfect time or a perfect scenario in which to start something and incentivize people to do something. But the thing with activism is that there isn't a perfect time. It's not something that can be manufactured. It's something that should feel like a very natural response and a solution for the problems that you are very passionate about solving. People need to realize that us as youth and especially as young girls hold a lot of power and that each one of us has unique traits that can't be replaced by anyone else. So let go of all those fears, let go of all those doubts, and just try to take some baby steps towards solving whatever you want to solve. If you have any questions or are still curious about something, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, a huge, huge thank you to Edry Girls for letting me come here today and talk and share my story. I think it's really important to give young women a platform. Thank you so much to Edry Girls for letting me take over today. To everyone watching, you are beautiful, you are brave, and you are capable of doing anything that you set your mind to. I know that you're going to achieve great things, and I wish the best for your present and future endeavors.